Joseph Yusuf here from uh, Yusuf isn't my last name. That's that's how I got chrismated into the church. Okay, uh, and that's what I got called a lot of times. Uh, that's what a lot of people know me as. So it, my name isn't actually Joseph Yusuf. I want to make that clear. It just turned now uh, 12 o'clock midnight. Uh, and it'll show on here that I recorded this probably at 10 o'clock because it always gives two hours off. And it's kind of shocking if you look at the times of my videos and add two hours to it. Yeah, they're mostly made in the wee hours of the morning. Uh, just let's do with my work schedule. Uh, the There was an interesting point made uh, by... Yeah, I should have kept it up there. Um, this guy, this Jewish guy, and thank God for good Jews. Okay, I gotta say that. Thank God for honest and good Jews, because there there are many out there. Um, and he makes this point that the ADL, which I think is their Uncle Tom's, they they fit. Well, not even that. They're not Uncle. They they look. It seems as if they look at the Jewish stereotype and in the most negative stereotype of the Jews and they go how can we be more like that I mean it, it, it's really ridiculous you almost think are these people are they joking um, the ADL now is, is a seminar for Catholics or Catholic children where they uh, which is abuse uh, bringing children who their parents or their grandparents or great-grandparents uh, fought and gave their lives to destroy uh, the cult of the Nazis in World War II, now marched through all these things, showing about the Holocaust and how Roman Catholicism persecuted the Catholics and this and that. This is disgusting. If there's anything that's going to provoke another Holocaust, another destruction of the Jews, it's the fact that the rest of the Christian world, I mean, except for little pockets, I mean, any mainstream Christian... We've already gotten past all this 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 Jewish stuff, this uh, so-called anti-Semitism. Any blame? I mean, the Bible doesn't blame the Jews for the cru crucifixion of Jesus. Paul doesn't blame the Jews for the crucifixion of Jesus. Uh, the they the Jews have to keep bringing up these medieval ideas. Uh, oh, the they persecuted. Are you, you're gonna, you, I mean, that is the most detestable thing. You are taking a child who is totally not responsible for any of that stuff, and then uh, instilling him with guilt, which is kind of funny. I mean, it, they do thrive on guilt. The ADL and many of these uh, Holocaust industry um, things. Do they stop? Do, do any of these organizations uh, that constantly rant about the Holocaust actually try to do anything about Rwanda or the massacres of Christians in Muslim lands or to bring about awareness of other genocides uh, they say they do but largely they don't they just keep bringing up the Holocaust and anti-semitism 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 is the least problem in the world there are more uh, there are more people who are anti-white than anti-semite more people who are anti-black than anti-Semitic. More people who are any other any other discrimination is more prevalent, more violent, and more active in the world than anti-Semitism. If you watch the movie Defamation, which is made by a Jew who you know was trying to expose you know these Holocaust people, I and I, when I mean Holocaust people, I mean it's quote unquote Holocaust deniers. But he looked at both sides. He went to the ADL, who victimizes their own people, the Jews uh, and the Israelis, by talking about oh, all this anti-Semitism. The whole world wants to kill you. And you find out most of the cases are people requesting time off from work for Jewish holidays and not getting it. That's anti-Semitic? Well, I guess I'm going to have to say yes, it is, because it seems that anti-Semitic, once something is labeled that... It is something really, really ridiculous and stupid. Um, 
again, it's as if uh, as if you you were to uh, can I take uh, can I take off uh, for Christmas? Well, no, you turned the slip in too late. You know, you should have done that. You know, over two weeks ago. You know, you're anti-white and anti-black. There's no, I mean, it's ridiculous. And uh, it's funny because, you know, I had a pro called Silo Design said, what the hell, you know, this and, and I read it, and it, I saw it as ridiculous, stupid propaganda, and it is. Uh, but it's funny. It's almost as if a lot of these organizations picked up that book and said, how can we make this work? Even uh, Foxman of the ADL, the head of the ADL, says, well, yeah, we have to really kind of lie and guilt people into things and uh, make them think that we have a lot more power than we do in order to gain get, gain sway. And they were actually saying, trying to downplay the Ukrainian Holocaust. Now, the Jew, the, these, these, uh, these Holocaust addicted Jews want to talk about how the Catholics who are such an evil people and where are the where are the Catholics going? Where are the Catholics attacking Jewish people? Where where is that happening? Because I can tell you one place where the, where the Jews are attacking and murdering Catholics because they are Catholic. But where where are the Catholics? Where where are the actual priests and and bishops at sending out orders for for their people to go attack Jews? Because if a Catholic went out and attacked a Jew, he'd be denied he'd be denied communion until he went to to uh, confession. It doesn't it's not tolerated. Uh, what about the Jews attacking Christians? If you even bring something like that up, and, and I've heard this, well, even if you bring up even true events where the Jews did attack the Christians, that is anti-Semitic. You can tell the truth and be called an anti-Semite. And they would say, oh yeah, you're telling the truth, but it's still anti-Semitic. Because, well, why do we need to hear that? What, what, why would you even bring that up? Why, you know, that has nothing to do with anything. Why, you know, no Jews today. You know. But when you say, hey, why don't you look in the mirror? That's what you're doing. You're bringing up something 60 years ago that uh, this country in America and many other countries paid an incredible price to stop it. Uh they go, oh, but you know, it's still a life to. Unless you keep you keep beating people over the head with the idea of you don't like me because I'm a Jew, you keep poking it, you keep poking the bear, you keep poking the caged dog, you caged dog who who never really cared about you in the first place. Well, then yeah, sometimes he's he might bite you and just say get the fuck out of here, you know, fuck you, you fucking Jew, you know, out of frustration. Oh, see, that justifies us. For harassing you, uh, the JDL, David Cole exercised his freedom of speech, threatened no one, uh, repeatedly said, "I am not against the Jews. We don't deny that the Jews were killed. We're just asking how many and in what way." Violent attacks upon him. There are, are an army of thugs out there who, if you exercise your free speech, they'll come out there and try to beat you up. If they can't get you, they'll attack your family, or they'll even try to kill you. And then we're supposed to ignore this and say, oh, but that's not, we, we need to keep, that's not really the Jews. We need to put that out of our mind. That didn't come from Judaism. It doesn't come from any, uh, But yet, if the shoe is on the other foot, well, we... we Let's get a conference about this. We need to talk to our, our state governors, our state representatives. Uh, the police need to get involved. They, you know, It's total hypocrisy. And I know I said I would talk about uh, uh, Judaism and what is Judaism in my next video. I, I am going to do that. Uh, and I also want to... There was another thing. My memory's terrible because well, I'm not going to tell you why. But... Uh, Yeah, I'm gonna go into more of what what would cause another um, another Holocaust in great detail. All right, peace to all of you. Uh, I guess I am an anti-Semite because I'm not responsible for that label. There's nothing I can do.
to not be an anti-Semite. The fact that I say maybe we should have open investigation of what happened in the death camps, maybe <coughs> Israel uh, shouldn't invade Palestine. Just for saying that, just for saying, uh, maybe it, it's wrong for Israelis to murder men, women, and children, innocent men, women, and children. Now I'm automatically an anti-Semite. I'm beginning to think right now, just this is having in mind, maybe that is actually a badge of honor. Maybe it just shows this person's honest. Now, being an anti-Semite absolutely has nothing to do with the hatred of the Jews at all. I think we've seen that in many, in, in the last 50 years, that, that it really, there, there has nothing to do with the Jewish religion or attacking Jewish people. It has to do with labels created by the ADL, the JDL, other groups that uh, are bullies. You know, the bully is calling the the weak kid that they keep beating up the aggressor. And you got to put your foot down. And even if it makes you extremely unpopular, you have to say the truth. What did Christ say? For those who speak the truth, you're going to get persecuted? Okay. I have to follow Christ. I have no choice. I'm a faithful son of the church, or at least I try to be.